Okay, here's a quick video on how to use the simulator to simulate um, really anything you want on your DIM. This is a DIM I pulled from the junkyard. I just made two videos on logging a file from your car uh, of the low speed CAN network and then replaying that log on your DIM with a few errors that, because the log replaying solution is not really robust like this. This is the most robust part of the project that I've spent a lot of time on getting it right so there's no errors on the DIM when it plays. There's a few things missing that I'm still working on implementing very, very slowly, but uh, the gist of it is that this will be how to simulate the DIM. So you want to plug in your Arduino. You're going to upload your code, which you just pulled the latest from the repo on GitHub. This is the DIM sim file. You're going to wait till it uploads. And your Arduino, you're going to need for this just the can shield and um, the Arduino. You don't need the SD card to simulate the DIM unless you want to log or replay logs from your car. So we now have the new file in here. We do not need this to be connected to the computer anymore. And you're going to need to provide 12 volts so that it can power your DIM. So plug in the 12 volts and it should spring to life here pretty quickly. If I can get the plug going. All right, and there we go. So it looks like the time for service did not get reset, even though I thought it did from replaying my log. We'll have to see. I might log um, Vita. Send it. Vita has a reset function, and it might have a internal code that it sets. But uh, yeah, that's how you simulate it. Right now, the simulator is just set 70 miles an hour, 3.4 RPM, tank of gas, 71 degrees out, 130. You can't simulate the mileage. That's saved on an EEPROM on the motherboard. So if you know how to work with those, you can pull that off, reset it. But I'm pretty sure you can tabulate mileage. That's just not implemented right now. Trip, it's not working. The temperature gauge for the car is set how we want it. Um, and yeah, I have the blinker set on right now as well. So this is a dim that I got from the junkyard. Um, currently it has this time for regular service message and I'm gonna see if I can write a solution to get that to go away because obviously I can't reset it without the car. Here is my R dim that I developed this off of. I'll just plug it in real quick. And just like that, it boots up. It's showing all the same things as the last one with no errors though, because I pulled this from a working car. The other thing you can control is the brightness of these LEDs and the brightness of the backboard. But yeah, as you can see, this is replaying the exact same thing that that dim just showed. And it's all simulating in real time that you can come in here and modify um, what it sends. So right now you can see here, clock set to 130, outdoor temperature 72. Uh, it's not accurate to the exact degree. Um, coolant gauge 82%. That's roughly 82%. It's a weird scale where top 50% is not easy for it to just like go to way max. It's, it's not linear. Um, car speed, 72 miles an hour. That looks right. Um, gas level and RPM, gas level is at 90%. Looks about right. And RPM, 3,400. That looks about right. Total brightness is set to max and the right blinker is set to on. So yeah, everything's functioning right now. Um, but yeah, I need to implement a few more features still. It's slow progress. And I just realized today that the forum post from the Swedish forums, it, their website is no longer being hosted, it looks like. So that may be a challenge. If you have any questions, just leave a comment on this video or contribute or leave a comment on the GitHub code. Um, I'm, not, I'm not contributing this daily by any means. I maybe look at it if someone leaves a comment or something like that, but uh, this is just kind of when I get free time and I want to work on my car. So yeah, leave a comment. Thanks for watching. Bye.